Welcome back everybody, I'm Maya from Maya Quest, and we are back. Now, first couple videos have come out, and let me tell you, they weren't that great. Sorry guys. Uh, not that they were terrible or anything, it's just I have some learning to do. Those were my first videos ever created, recorded, and edited, and I thought everything was going to be just fine when I was doing my initial checks and tests of how it was going to look. But, there were problems. First off, audio. Audio kind of sucked. You couldn't really hear me a lot of the time. The game sounded great. No problem there. Me, I was a little mouse and sometimes it would cut out. And yeah, wasn't that great. I apologize. I am learning and I'm trying to improve. And you should see now, I believe, I sure hope because I've tested it a lot. But audio should be better. Secondly, we had some graphic issues. While overall, I don't think it looked too bad. I think it could have looked a lot better. So I will be trying to improve quality of recording. So hopefully it'll look a little smoother, a little nicer, higher quality. We'll see. I will try to always improve it when I can and where I can. So these are just the first steps. While I was away, I had a lot of testing to do. I learned a little bit more about audio and video, and I needed to translate that into my own settings. So I... Use that time to do a little resource gathering around the area. Nothing too fancy. Just it's a basic resource gathering because you need some stuff and you don't have to watch all that boring stuff. While down in that dangerous new lava area, I spent some time using my water bucket to secure a ring of obsidian around the lake. Yeah, make a, give us a little platform to walk on so we don't have to swim through lava if we want to explore down there. That went great. No real problem, except I discovered this crazy cool looking alcove area above one of the edges. Let me tell you, these caves are amazing. But that cave, that alcove, it's 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 a zone of death. Yep. So it's 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 really dark. I don't have much lighting just yet, and I've started spreading it, but there are a lot of mobs up there. Uh first time I went up there, I got scared, ran away. Everything was fine. I went back to making the obsidian ring, and then, I, a little later, I got stupid. I went back up there, I was exploring, thought I was, you know, nice and tough with my no armor, stone sword, and I decided to take on a spider. No problem. It's taking him out, you know, no burger. But, there was a creeper that blew up from the side, and I was dead instantly. My diamonds were there. All the resources I had been gathering was up there. My couple levels were up there. Yeah, whatever. But I had to get it back. You know, I couldn't let those diamonds go. I couldn't be like, hey guys, found diamonds in the last episode, but I threw them in the lava. So I went back. I tried to get it, but it's a dangerous place. It's a zone of death up there. So I died again and again. Probably again and, and maybe again. I think I died four or five times all together, but in the end, I was able to recover the valuables. So, all's good there. I just lost a little bit of pride. And with that, we are ready to move on with our adventure. I've been doing so much setting up and fixing things with the, the video and all that that I have no idea still what I'm going to be doing, but I rarely do. I kind of just wing it. Things tend to work out. I don't usually really have a plan when I'm playing Minecraft. I just go about what feels good at the time, what I want to do. When I'm building, I, I don't plan out things very much. I just kind of build, and I usually after a lot of work, they turn out decent. So let's go see what happens. Yeah, as you can see here, I have basic gear. Put my torches up there now that we're on the go. Got a ton of food, water for safety. I should go ahead and make a little bit of armor. We're going to go with that for now. So you can still see my ugly mug. Yep. Look at me. All tough now. Iron armor.
All right, we're going to head back down into the cave. Need to pick up a little lava and get started with our first just basic create uh, contraption. Oh, uh, yeah, look at this place. Over there, that is the Cove of Death, as I'm calling it at the time, at the moment. Yep, the Obsidian Ring does stretch the entire way around. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with it, but I know I need a safe area to roam, roam around in. Hmm. All this lava, where should I take it from? Probably over here. Perfect. Youch. Okay. Won't need this little barrier anymore. Might as well mine it up, clean things up a little bit down here. All right. I'm all uh, tough now in my iron. Give you guys another little peek up here. Let's see what it's looking like. As you can see, I've been putting some lighting up. This area is rather large, and I am no good at combat at the moment. It seems. Better be careful, or I've got myself killed up here. As you can see, I've spread some lights around. And it is doing very little, because this place is rather large. But I am here. I should spread more light. Oh, I thought that was a spider in the distance. These tortoises are amazing. I want to see if I can create some sort of a farm with them. Or just have some as pets. Always been a turtle fan. And those turtles are awesome looking. Here, skeleton. Yep, time to go. This is right where I died, by the way. That's remnants from the creeper explosion that got me. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. We got what we need for now. Go ahead and head back up to the surface and start building. First, I believe I'm going to make just a basic uh, cobble generator using Create. Uh, it's a nice first tier, first level intro tier beginning thing you should do. I've never been much of a cobble fan, but hey, we need uh, to use Create Mod however we can. Gonna need to put some stairs down here soon so I don't have to hop the whole way up. All right. I think for now, let's just start a little create area right in here. Later, I will set up more of a, a plant or warehouse style setup for my create and tinker needs. But for now, we're still very much in our beginning phases. I just got my first iron armor after all. Okay. I think I want to set this up. Turns out when you're going to be building something, especially with a create mod, you want to make sure you have all the resources you need. I thought I did. I did not. I needed some iron, first of all. All this beautiful iron in my armor uh, kind of used up most of my iron supply, and I didn't have enough to create a lot of the create things that we would need. So I ran back down into the mines really quick, mined up 45 uh, iron ingots and crafted up some of the basic things we're going to be needing. Uh, this is just a start. I 
and hope to soon have a big supply of create material, but it takes time and resources. One thing I realized I really need and I have not come across yet is kelp. You need it for belts, you need it for, uh, I think the tunnels or funnels, whichever they are, the flappy hopper type things. Um, anyway, so we need some kelp. I haven't seen any yet, so I need to go find an ocean type biome. Now, it's been a while since I've been here, but if I remember correctly, back in the old playthroughs, hey, I have not seen that yet. We're going to have to check that out. Um, there used to be an ocean kind of bordering not very far out in this very general direction. So hopefully it's still there and it'll be easy to pick up some kelp and maybe have some adventure along the way. So let's go. Now I need to go check out this village soon too. I didn't want to do anything there without you guys so I've stayed away. I did run over there once just to create a thumbnail for my first video. So I went over to the corner, made a thumbnail looking at the mountain, and that was that. Came back. No interaction. Nice to see. I'm not getting distracted on my mission here. And that I'm leaving at nighttime to go swimming in the ocean. I'm smart. That's not nice. I think I might just stay in the village tonight and leave fresh in the morning. Sorry, whoever's bed this is. Hey! None of that. And it's a bright and early dawn of day 17. Yep, 17. I spent quite a few days screwing around. And while I was uh, testing settings and getting things all set up for you guys, I uh, tended to leave the game running in the background, and that wasn't helpful for that day and dawn, dawn and day counter, however you want to say it. Um, yeah, so it got a little bit away from me, but it's not meant to be like a strict schedule we're kept on by having that here. It's just, an, just to get an idea of, you know, how long we're here. Maybe at the end of this series, we'll look back and say, we made it a million in five days. So that would be cool. Nope, I'm not going to go to that just yet. Need to find an ocean. Oh, just a tree. I should gather wood also while I'm out. I'm burning through my little supply of it fast. I need to go find a roofed forest or something and just go to town. Stock up on a couple chests full of wood. That would be nice. This is another village. Awesome. But I need an ocean, not a desert. Still a second village so close to the other village. That could be nice. And we got de desert villagers we can choose from if we want to make some fancy traders. Normally I make a, a very confined trading hall when I make my villager trading area. Um, I'm thinking about doing something a little bit different this time. Um, in integrating the city right next to the mountain. Um into its own trading hall that makes a lot of sense doesn't it i'm gonna pretty much just try to theme areas around that village to go along with the traders that are in the general section for it and hopefully kind of make it look nice is there nothing in this village useful oh ocean awesome i'm getting so distracted i'm out of my first adventure cauldron huh huh you can keep it. Huh. I did not come across the chest. Gotcha. 
I will set up a kelp farm eventually. Nothing too serious. I set up very uh, crappy, slow kelp farms generally. I'm sure, I'll probably do something similar. Not a huge fan of the speed at which those produce kelp, unless they're massive, so I kind of like to spend my time on other farms, making those other ones massive rather than a kelp farm, but who knows. Hopefully this will be a very long series, and maybe I'll have some firsts as well. Not that I haven't already. I should have made a boat for this. All right, that was quick and easy. We got plenty of kelp for now. Let's head back and gather some resources along the way. This village may not have had much in the way of chest loot. I could definitely use this wheat. I believe I burned through all of the wheat I had collected originally. I think the six bread represents the last of it. So, never have enough hay bales. Underwhelming desert, though. Have to forget about it. Gonna have to get on the iron farm ASAP. Gonna be have to be one of my top priority missions. Is gonna require enough material though, which could probably make a stretch it and make a a very low quality one at this point, but. It just doesn't make much sense to me to make it until I have a couple things I need. One of them is soul sand so I can make a little bit of a one block bubble vader for the the zombie. I I found that that's the best method of controlling uh, the aggro on your villagers. Um, besides that... I can get by with pretty minimal resources other than needing the villagers. But I can lure them with an emerald block, so that is going to be awesome. I just have zero emeralds at this point. Maybe I'll head over to the village really quick and see what they got. Maybe I can start my emerald empire right here with my first emerald trades. Yeah, just get to know the village. I don't really want to plunder this village. I want to leave it fairly nice. Um, I hope to make this village uh, integrated into some sort of large overall area of mine by the end. Love all the new variants of animals. Nothing useful there for me. At the at least at the moment. Hello. Okay. Keep you in mind. What are you doing? You shouldn't be in there. You're supposed to be out farming. Loot. Yes. Take it. Definitely the bread. What I am currently eating. Gonna need a lot more sustain 
Ah, sustainable food supplies soon. Can't keep going off of my beginning bits that I collected for very much longer. Yeah. Okay, it turns out I needed to do a little more crafting, got some more supplies together, and now I'm a little better off for creating this. Um, get a little chicken and the egg scenario here on how to do this power-wise and getting what I want and what I need. So I'm not going to be able to do exactly what I planned here just yet, but I'm going to go ahead and make a water wheel to power this. It's not what I'd initially planned to do, but it'll work. Put that there. Yep, that's going. I want to see if I can use the same water source to back power down here, as well as use it for a cobble generator. Looks like that'll work. Okay. Definitely gonna need that. So I need to set up a mechanical press so that I can start pressing some metals. It doesn't. Okay, it does have an exit. You know, that'll work just fine, except. No, no it's a little low. I'll just have to put the depot down in there, which should be fine. I don't think that's going to cause a problem. Awesome. Now, I'm going to need a drill of some sort. Probably the mechanical kind. It's like I have everything I need on me to make it, which is awesome. Let's see if the wall is right there. That won't work. I don't like it to be somewhere around there. So the wall, this water source isn't going to cut it. But that's not a big deal. Might not even keep it there. I shouldn't be using andesite for that. Oh, it puts there, right there. That's not what I meant to do. Oh, I need more water. Shoot, I should create. I need an infinite water supply while I'm up here. Got an infinite water source for now. And get some sleep and get on building. Look, I've hardly built anything so far, which isn't what I had planned on. Day 19. All right. I am going to need that water. Sure, if that will affect the water wheel or not. I think it's gonna be okay. It's uh that's a little bit of gold in there so I can make my wrench and a little extra just in case. See if it still works, alright. Alright, so that's good to go. Let's a lava source in there and see what we're dealing with. And we got stone. Perfect. I believe this will work like that. Let me get this connected up and just see how our stone generation is going.
Perfect. Might not be ideal to have the water source have to go down there like this. Do this every time. That could be, I don't know, a little lag unfriendly. So it might be smart to put in a second water source right there. And it's gathering up now. Gonna run. Just thinking about how I want to set up the conveyor belt really quick. Um. So it's going to come out here, so I'm going to have to start there, and I think go to... I think I'm just going to go there, but then there to there. All right. Set that up. Awesome. I'm going to see if we can power this thing easily or not. I'm guessing not with the amount of cogs I have. Awesome. Gotta love when it spins the right way. Get the best way to set this up. Might be in here for now. Probably not though. Can I make a gearbox yet? Please tell me yes. Awesome. Can I make two gearboxes yet? Please tell me yes. Awesome. All right. Am I a fool? I'm a fool. Through here. Awesome. There we go. Now we're moving in the right direction. Cover that up a little bit for now. And let's do this. All right, I can put a slab in there. Look for now. Let's go. Bam. And take that back off and put this right there. Now it'll work. Yep. Take an extra casing. Shove it right there. So it looks a little nicer. Yeah. I case this up. All about the looks, yeah. Okay, so we've got a little powered start here. This is nice, nothing special, but we are on our way. I guess I should make a mill first and have them feed into the mill. Now. Perfect. Now we need to power it. You know, I think it will work right next to it. And while it's cool that they're jumping, 
Not necessarily necessary in this amount of space. Perfect. Perfect, R. Right. That's got to go there. Well, put it behind. And we are overstressed. Should have seen that coming. I did not. But it's not much of a problem. Currently running off of one water mill. Doesn't power a whole lot. But this will work out. Now, initially wanted to power off of lava fans. So before I go and add another water wheel, I think I want to try that out as a power source. I know it's slow. But I believe it's got a high torque value. Um, I needed these so I could make this. No. I need an encased fan. So I could make that. So, let's see, I need, would like to make two. Stack of these would be awesome, but yep, I am currently poor. I need to just mine for many days get to where I can make whatever I want okay I'm just gonna do it a little test hole try this out Shift click to hold it to place it away from me. Yep, that wasn't smart though. Need another gearbox. Day 20, moving along. Connected, awesome, and Awesome. All right, this is working out. So, I'm going to take the water wheel out. All right, we are back with the lava source for our second power supply. And let's see if this is enough to get the system up and running for now. Hmm, I was worried about that. One more gearbox. Nope, that's not going to do it. Need a chain drive donut. Yep, I believe I chain drive would be the best thing for this situation. In case chain drive, can I make them right now? Awesome. And it's working. Wonderful. Right, so now, and that's grinding away. We've got stuff. Wow. 
awesome. Let's see, I think I'm gonna try move this. Run that off of there, and then maybe I can compact this a little better. And we are back in action. Almost. There we go. Everything is working and we're getting gravel. Awesome. That's a start. Yep, I'm done. This is going to need a lot more storage, I know. But for now, just so we can get to gathering, we're going to do this. I need to make uh, the wrench. That app. Right there. Awesome. No fuss. And now everything is set up properly. And it is automatic. Able to turn the system off if need be. Okay. This isn't about looking pretty, it's just about being useful for the time being. Thank you.